Hello, I'm Indy, and welcome to a new Let's Play. As you can see, it's Tomb Raider. And without further ado, let's jump in. Through the password, start a new game. Let's go! What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Laura. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical powers buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Welcome to the caves, the caves of Peru, the very first map of Tomb Raider. Carlos, our guide back there, yeah, he's the first casualty and he will be dearly missed. But Lara prefers to go in alone, so let's continue on. These caves will eventually, after a few maps and a couple of uh, other locations than just caves, will eventually lead to the tomb where... Uh, the artifact that we need to find is located and here right in the beginning we also get our first secret I will attempt to um, get all secrets in this playthrough that should be fine because I know this game pretty well to be honest so there isn't probably going to be a lot of uh, searching and looking around and getting stuck Maybe just a little in the later maps, but 
definitely not here. And um, yeah, as always, we can probably expect me to do a couple of stupid things, but yeah, that is bound to happen anyway. Um, yeah, this game took the game world by storm at its release. It was extremely impressive when it released at the 25th of October 1996 on the Sega Saturn. These pets are trying to get away. There we go. And um, a couple of weeks later on PC and the PlayStation, uh, namely on November 14th 1996. Here we have immediately our second secret, which is a bit of a strange one to be honest, because if you just jump in, jump up here and use the use button, she doesn't grab on. You have to press forward and only press the use button, and then she'll jump up on her own, revealing the second secret. The first few secrets are really easy. They will get a lot harder, just as with the maps. But as I was saying, it took the gaming world by storm, because it was extremely impressive back in the day. And as with all my playthroughs, I will attempt to give you as much of background information as I can regarding the game, regarding the development, and regarding memories I have about the game. And I played it back in the day at its release, and everything that uh, went along with it. Um, that being said, I have to uh, address a couple of things as well. One of the major differences between this game, the PC version, and the uh, PlayStation version was the use of music. You might have already noticed that it's a very, very quiet game. With just a little bit of music and... Um, and just some ambience sound. Well, uh, the PlayStation version had a lot more music in it. Not much, but a lot more. And uh, I have patched my PC version with, or modded I should say, so the PC music is um, put in here as well. Also, it's also patched so it runs natively in Windows and not through a DOS emulator like DOSBox. And uh, it's running in widescreen and on higher resolutions, um, meaning that some of the health bars and stuff like that and the ammo counters, like on the top left of the screen, might be a little bit small, but we'll just have to wait and see. And I can always lower that. This gate, if you look through it, you see the end of this map. Those doors at the end, that's at the end. But we have to take the long way around. There we go, we go up here. Also, my knowledge of the maps. This map is easy and I know it pretty much by heart. But um, that knowledge will get smaller and smaller and uh, the maps will take longer and longer to complete. But this is a very safe map to play. It uh, learns you a little bit how to jump, how to fight, and in all pretty safe um, environments. There are not, no death traps with instant kills and stuff like that. There are no big jumps that if you miss them, that uh, you'll die instantly. That's for the later maps. In some of the last maps, you'll get them every few seconds. So, there will be a couple of deaths down there. Let's see. Have a look at this cool little mummy here. I love the fact that you can see its little, little toes to the lower left there. Pretty funny. Uh, this was made by uh, Core Design. Published by Eidos, and Core Design at that time was uh, a six, a team of six people, and they were located in Derby, in the United Kingdom. 
Um, and that will be it. As always, I will try to um, sprinkle all the knowledge, as it were, throughout the playthrough. So we don't get uh, front-loaded with loads of little facts at the first video and almost none later on. Through here, I always love this uh, room of the game. This uh, room with the plants and the vines for some reason. That always st stuck with me. Okay. Down here we also have another enemy. We've encountered bats and wolves. And this is a bear. Yeah, definitely in this first Tomb Raider game where um, most of the enemies are uh, animals. Yeah, she puts a couple of them on the endangered species list, I, uh, I'm afraid. Later games like Tomb, especially Tomb Raider 2, have a lot more human enemies. Okay. This is basically um, a little area. If you missed the jump there, as I was saying, it's a pretty safe level. If you miss, if you miss the jump, there's a way out. You don't die. And if you took some uh, damage from the bear, they even give you a health pack. There we go. And it takes us back here. So all we need to do is make our way back up. There we go. And then jump over uh, the, the hole where the bear was in. I really love this game. It's one of my all-time favorites. And um, it's actually... Pretty difficult to say, but um, 9 out of 10, 10 times if you would ask me which Tomb Raider game is my favorite, I would have to say this one. I am going to do some small exploring. There was another health pack right here, around the corner here. Because even though I know the game pretty well, and I know where the secrets are and how to finish the puzzles. I don't know the entire game out of my head. And I don't know where every pickup is. I don't know every detail. So we we'll do have to uh, do some exploring. But I think you won't mind. Okay. In this room we also have our third secret, and it's right there. Also not the trickiest to find, but it's a little bit obscured by the vines and the vegetation there. But we'll get it uh, anyway, I should say. Just go through here and jump over there. First time I played this game as a kid, I came in here, got the health pack and just thought, wow, is that it? That can be it. There has to be something with this wall. This is uh, too striking texture to be anything but a wall. But it's nothing else than a wall. <laughs> so let's continue on. I took some damage already, I think mainly with the bear, but that's okay. We'll try to preserve our med packs per, for now. We don't really need to because there are more than enough in the entire game. But if you finish a map, you'll get full health anyway. This opens up the doors there. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a timed puzzle. If you can call it a puzzle. But it's the first thing that I would consider a little bit difficult for first time players. Because if you're not used to the controls, you might have to redo this. But as you can see, you have a lot of time. They are still very forgiving in this first map. 
I always run straight through those arrow things without uh, paying much attention since they don't hurt you all that much. Here you can see on the floor, the floor is cracked, that means the floor will give way. There we go. Once again, a mechanic that later on in the game gets a lot more dangerous, they just show you how it works with no real danger. And we are already in that final room of this, uh, of this map. You probably remember when I said to look through the gate, that's the gate. And there are the exit doors. All we need to do is uh, find a switch here and kill one more wolf, I think. Think? Maybe more. At least one. Let's keep it at that. There we go. Seem to be going a lot. They seem to be going down a lot quicker than in that intro FMV cinematic there. Once I get through those doors, that will be the end of this map already. It's a short, almost tutorial map, but uh, they will get a lot longer. Only if you're very low on health here, you have to be careful for the arrows. But as you can see, if you just run, you might as well get lucky and not get hit at all. But that was it for this map and for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, so leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!